what is up guys welcome back to another video as you can see right now i am at a lake right here uh not a lake this is a little pond here and uh i am going to be fishing for largemouth today uh, i have you guys set up on the tripod i brought the tripod out today because i was looking on google maps i saw this spot and it's nice and open around here so uh, i decided to come out here and do a little fishing i know the wind is kind of whipping a little bit the wind's coming this way straight at me uh so i might I might end up coming around that side there. I have my fly rod with me and I have my uh, sienna with me, my usual freshwater setup. So we're gonna be throwing that. I'm gonna be throwing the Mad Juicy Baits Lure. I actually, here, let me show you guys real quick. So I took the Mad Juicy Baits Lure and I, uh, I tied on some hackle feathers at the end of the tail. Kind of long. I wish I would have tied it a little shorter, but I ended up tying it longer. So, but that's pretty good. I put a little bigger, a, a bigger size hook on the back. And, to, and I'm also going to be throwing my fly rod with this. Uh, if you guys, if you've, uh, any of you have been following my Instagram, uh, you've seen this uh, Mayan cichlid imitation. The small, could imitate like a really, really tiny Mayan cichlid. So I'm going to be throwing that on the fly rod. Uh, so that's a basic rundown of my gear and let's get right to it. I didn't even feel that fish on there. Oh, it's a large one. I didn't even feel that fish on there. Look, right there. Oh, he spit my Senko. I didn't even feel that fish bite. I didn't even feel that at all. I dropped it right in front of that thing right there and he just whacked it. I didn't even feel him. I just, I was reeling up. To go reel up into the um to make another cast and he was on it he spit my senko but that's the first large mouth of the day pretty cool stuff let's get the release on this guy first fish of the day uh pretty small one but that's a good start that means there's fish in here which is a good sign so I'm gonna continue fishing and let's see what we get. And I'm gonna try to get my Senko, it's like right there. Gosh, he's a bass, I tell you. Well, spot one produced one bass, tiny one. Moving on to spot two. See you guys there. Dang, guys, I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but look at all that mullet. Oh my gosh, that is so much mullet. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of mullet. That's it. That is insane, bro. fish what is that oh peacock nice peacock on the fly rod on the fly rod baby let's go That was awesome. What a take. Oh, that was sweet. Oh my gosh. That peacock inhaled. Yo. Look. Guys. Just <laughs> look at how far that Mayan cichlid fly is down this peacock's mouth. That is a beautiful peacock bass right there. It's been a while since I've caught one. Man, that was absolutely sick. 
Oh man. Okay, I gotta get this fly out. Look, I can't get over the fact. Look how far down that fly is down there. Goodness, I hooked him so good. That is absolutely crazy. Wow. All right, guys, that was right on the Mayan cichlid fly right there. Right here. Awesome. Man, that is a fat peacock right there. Another look at this beautiful, beautiful peacock. All right, let's just let this one go. Right under the bridge there. Nice. The Mayan cichlid fly that I tied, man, he got blood all over it. Let me um, wet it. He absolutely choked it. it was on the, this is on the Mayan cichlid fly that I tied up. It's got a little bit of orange, like regular orange, and then I can put like a really bright orange in there, and then I have some red underneath. And he really like bled all over it. And I got some eyes on there. I'm using 30 pound fluorocarbon for my leader. And uh, basically what I did, I pitched it underneath the bridge there, we're going along the bank, and he smoked it. Alright, let's get another one. Is that fry? What are those? Oh, they are fry. That's peacock fry. Oh! Oh my gosh, that's a giant peacock. Oh, whoa, whoa, come on, come on, come on, baby, come on. Come on, baby. Where's he at? Oh, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, that... <sighs> that right there could be my biggest peacock. We're about to get another peacock on the fly rod. The male is pretty decent. They're like pushing it around, they're not really attacking it. <sighs> Had it in his mouth. Wow, I am so retarded right now. Oh, this always happens to me. When I catch a fish, that's when my GoPro is off, man. Gosh. Jeez, I got him on. So I got this peacock on the fly rod. Well, what are you going to do? But got this one on the fly rod, put up a good fight. Nice male right on the cichlid. Cichlid uh, fly. Let's, re let's let this guy go. All right. Another nice fish from today. Female sitting right there. All right, send him back. But anyways, I'm stupid because I didn't have my GoPro on. It always happens to me. I either, I never have my GoPro on, but the female's right there. I'm gonna try and get her just now. So stay tuned. You know, we'll get this one on the uh, we'll get this one on the Majesty baits. Get her on the Majesty Bates one. Man, but that, that peacock earlier that was sitting right there was such a monster, man. 
thing was like at least four or five pounds easily. Got her. That's the female. I'm telling you, when you have those treble hooks, you can get them real quick. All right. Barely hooked. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over these fish, man. These peacock bass are such beautiful, gorgeous fish. I mean, look at those colors. Oh my goodness. And my GoPro is on this time. <laughs> crazy all right let's let this baby go all right another nice peacock bass all right awesome so that is it for today's video this is part one of my freshwater trip that i made part two is going to be nothing but straight up blow-ups from these snook i'll be putting together those blow-ups that i've got got on camera uh, for you guys but today was a pretty successful day i was able to get one large mouth at the first spot came out to the second canal uh, i caught one peacock on the fly rod uh, actually i caught two peacocks on the fly rod and both of them were caught on the uh here i'll show you guys real quick the uh the cichlid fly that i tied uh, which is right here this is the mayan cichlid fly that i tied it had lateral lines on it uh, i mean uh the bars the black bars that cichlids have but it kind of wiped away so caught two nice peacocks on this one the first one inhaled this this uh fly and the second one was kind of i spent about like eh, give or take 15 minutes to uh to get get them to eat so they were kind of just like pecking at it pecking at it but i did get the male on the fly and then i got the female on the mad juicy baits you guys are awesome keep liking keep commenting keep subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace